Thiago Granato. Uh, I'm a dancer and choreographer. I live uh, between Brazil, France, and Germany. And uh, I'm Jefta van Winter. I live in Stockholm and Berlin. And we're now in Festival Panorama uh, performing our performance This is Concrete uh, in Sergio Porto. So this uh, performance that we have made is called This is Concrete. It started more or less one year ago here at uh, Panorama Festival where we had a, our first residency. And slowly um, what we have today started to uh, start to become concrete and start to materialize. Uh, it's a work that we do, uh, one of the main topics we're working on is the perception of time. Um, in the performance we try to both spend time in a different way than one usually does. Uh, we try to spend time between us, me and Tiago, and we try to also invite the audience to spend time looking at this spending time. Uh, we're slowing down a lot the perception, the sensation of time, and actually working with variations of slow, is what we call it, uh, in which actually a kind of Let's say that the time becomes a material that you start to really uh, perceive as a, as a substance, as, a, as, a, as something concrete, as a performance. Um, this is, I think, one, one of the lines. Um, it, I, in the, uh, what appeared out of this being slow or spending time were also certain elements of uh, the con uh, certain contents that appeared where you actually spend time. So there was, a, there was something about uh, sensuality and sexuality uh, that became a very important um, content in the work. Uh, me and Tiago throughout the performance are in a situation of intimacy that we share and that actually becomes also our composition, our choreographic composition. Uh, it's something that an audience looks at, is invited to look at. Not, they're not part of it per se, but they are um, yeah, invited to look at it and be with it, spending time with it. Yeah, I think there is this also this uh, general idea about two bodies uh, passing through different situations and trying to expand the way of communicating between us, like using this immaterial stuff that happens in the communication as choreographic material. So you can see different levels, different layers, uh, also different meetings between uh, light, music and movement as part of this uh, experimental communication that we developed there in the piece. Uh, it's nice also to say that the music and the light is very important as uh, part of the choreography. It's not like a decoration or, or something that came after to, to give a kind of treatment, but it's, it's, we consider the light and the music as body also of the piece. Uh, who does the piece, the, the light is David Kiers. <laughs> yeah, no, the music David Kiers and the light. Jan Feringen. Jan Feringen. Yes. And I think uh, what I've heard uh, yesterday, for instance, that, uh, from the audience at Panorama is that um, I think what is very uh, specific about the work is that people experience a very, very intimate situation but are nevertheless magnetized to be in part of this, be with this and look at this. And it's, it's an unusual situation, I think, in which people uh, are finding themselves looking at people who are going through something together, which is intimate and close, mm -hmm. uh, but without being uh, maybe eccentric or without being 
ex necessarily extreme. Actually, the intimacy is what is is, is extreme, mm -hmm. not the expression of it. Not the, it's not uh, vulgar or it's not. Uh, mm -hmm. But the experience of this intimacy becomes extreme, and this is quite something for people to deal with. How do you relate to uh, this happening in front of you? Are you allowed to look at this? Are you? How do you position yourself in relation to this? Is it something you enjoy? Is it something you resist? Is it? Yeah, I think this is space between the two bodies that are on stage, and also the space between the bodies on stage and the body of the audience, kind of. Uh, shift, yeah. get closer and get far. So you can see our bodies uh, having a very close relationship, very intimate relationship by being close to each other in different situations. And for me what, interest, what is interesting about it that is that also the, the space in between the audience and, and us in terms of perception, in terms of representation, and uh, engagement shifts also. Yeah. Uh, so the the way we worked with both light and sound, I think, also relates very much to how we think of time and how we want to present time. And I think, uh, in the case of the sound, we are using uh, very clear references to club culture or techno culture. Um, but we're using it. We're using it as a kind of uh, sonic space, a, a space in which these two bodies are immersed, which is an ab it's a, a, it's a, an abstraction somehow. It's not a clubbing situation, but the music is playing, ongoing. It's changing less than it would. It's uh, than it would in a club. It's uh, slower than it would be in a club. So again, we're, with the music we were trying to create a, a place where things shift, but where you don't necessarily have a big change of perception. It's, it's more, uh, uh, we, we refer to it as a soup, where things are slowly moving, boiling, but it's not very eventful actually. And the same goes for the light, which is moving very, very slow, keeps on shifting your it's two moving heads that are, that are passing over the space for a long period of time and they are shifting the audience perception of the bodies that are in movement uh, giving new angles giving shadows giving uh, let's say miniature shifts throughout throughout the, uh, in movement all the time yeah yeah I think the work the work uh, gives a lot of space for people to feel how the, the, the images and the, the body experience are working on stage. But we, we worked a lot with, with some meetings also between choreography, light and sound in order to create a kind of um, uh, moment of engagement where, where people can somehow be concentrated in the same spot or at the same moment. We, we work, I mean, we worked a lot with music and light with this idea of how to build a kind of concentration together. It's not something that are very messy or very um, aleatory, but it's something that has a certain rhythm that people has to deal with, has to follow somehow to be in. You, you could say that the, in a way that the, the elements are, have been there from the beginning. We have worked also, we worked a lot in, uh, in theater spaces where we could work with light and sound quite early. And you could say that there are like three layers that are running parallel and that then have cross, have, yeah. me, have meetings. So these lines have meetings which enable what Tiago said, a certain a certain specificity of this moment, a realization that this is happening together in a meeting. And then again, they drift off parallel more. To perform in Brazil for me is always amazing actually because of the reaction of the people. It's quite specific. Um, 
I have always a feeling of being communicating all the time because I have not only like uh, sound reactions or voice reactions of the people but I uh, I have also the echo after the performance very strongly and this is quite uh, I mean I think I do I do I do art for this kind of to, to promote this kind of meetings before during the performance and after the performance and I think I feel very how do I say reali realized no can I say that okay. realization you have this kind of uh, yes or achieve achievement yes in Brazil yeah I think the the it's a very concrete uh, it's a very concrete and very direct reaction often which is great uh, because like Tiago says you can actually feel it sometimes uh, so, sometimes you are a little bit left in the blue otherwise of how it was received and here it is pretty obvious and this is very this is very nice about you thank you and having a premiere here for us was also like yes very it, it was a very clear uh, step 